everyone, welcome back. So today I've got a fall haul for you guys. I've been doing a bit of shopping probably since mid-August, kind of getting ready for fall. I love fall fashion. If you guys haven't seen like my top fall basics video or my lookbook for fall, I don't know if the cards will let me overlap these that much, but based on my channel, you can probably tell that I am obsessed with fall and I've been slowly kind of collecting things over time since about August just to kind of make sure I had all the basics that I wanted for this season. So we've got a little bit of Aritzia, some Zara, and even some vintage pieces that I've picked up over the past couple of months, so I wanted to share them with you. Everything that I can link, I will link down below in the description box always. If it's not available anymore, I will do my best to link something similar. So if you're interested, let's get into the haul. I'm just gonna disclaim right now if my eyebrows look crazy to you, it's because I just got them microbladed literally yesterday. So they look very blocky and very warm toned and very solid and dark for my face right now. They haven't even started to scab or anything like that. I will be doing a microblading experience vlog for you guys, um, but I wanted to show you that kind of when things are a little bit more healed and maybe after my touch up. So if you have any questions about microblading and my experience, then definitely stay tuned for that. But. Let's get into the haul. So the first thing I picked up in the haul is actually the sweater that I'm wearing right now. This is from Aritzia. I picked it up fairly recently and it is super comfy cozy. I am obsessed with it. It is the softest thing I have ever worn and I did get it in a size medium just to have like a, a little bit more of an oversized fit. But it's the Wilfred Cypri sweater in heather warm gray so this is like a really nice just really cute gray toned sweater it's super comfortable it's 100 percent cashmere so it's really really warm and really really soft and it's definitely not itchy at all i am obsessed with this i just wanted like a really easy throw on chunky knit that would kind of go with everything and this definitely does. Normally I am an extra small to small at Aritzia so I did size up to a medium. I tried the large but it was like a little bit too oversized so just keep that in mind if you're interested in the size that I picked up. But it's not too thick, um, it tucks really well into high-waisted trousers, into jeans and things like that because a lot of the other sweaters that I have are a bit too thick and they get really bunchy when I try to tuck them in because I don't really like my sweater sort of hanging open. I really like to sort of cinch things back in and tuck them into the bottoms that I'm wearing. That's why I kind of went for this sweater and it's just like so soft and so warm and I've been wearing it non-stop. So the next top I picked up from Aritzia again is kind of out of my comfort zone but I've seen so many girls wearing this top and I was just obsessed with it. You have seen it in my top 10 fall base 6 video but I thought I would show you here because it was part of my fall haul. So this is the Wilfred Paula blouse. I am obsessed with this blouse. I think this will look so cute tucked into jeans, into black trousers, into a skirt. I think there's so many ways that you can wear this even though it is a little bit more girly and on the dressier side. Um, it's got this like Victorian kind of ruched high neck and like a peekaboo back with this like little button that will hold up the neck for you. The sleeves are like really poofy and kind of flowy and then um, they kind of cuff in together at the wrist. But this shirt is just so, it's so incredibly soft. It's just super dainty and flowy and I just like the sort of autumnal colors with the, with the yellow flowers. Like if you're not into girly patterns or flowers, I don't think this is too much. It's not overdone. It's not all over the front of the blouse so it doesn't overwhelm you. Especially if you are more petite, I would say to avoid larger prints when you're more petite but this it actually doesn't overwhelm you at all it's really flattering and I can't wait to style this for the fall now getting into bottoms from Aritzia I did pick up a couple of basics in the bottoms category I picked up a couple of dress pants and a pair of jeans from their new line the denim forum so the first pair of pants that I picked up I'm actually wearing so I can't really show you I'll show you in a cutaway are the Wilfred Gelad pants these are a high-waisted kind of crepey 
black trouser that have like kind of pleats in the front um, and they're sort of like a straight leg sort of cigarette kind of style pant that has this sort of belt detailing and it kind of reminds me of a karate belt I'm not really sure how to style it but right lately I've just been sort of tying it up and letting it kind of hang long to the side I may remove the belt I'm not really sure it does remind me a bit of karate kid so maybe I'll use it for a Halloween costume coming up not sure, but these pants are just really flattering. I've seen a few people purchase them and wear them online and a couple of my friends have picked it up and I'm just like, holy shit, these pants look so nice on you. They look so nice with everything. You can dress them up, you can dress them down. If you need to build like a basic wardrobe and you need a good pair of black trousers, the Wilfred Jalad pants, I would totally recommend. They are just super flattering. They look good on everybody. You will just love them. You won't regret it. So I'm really having a high-waisted pleated trouser moment uh, lately for this season. And so I picked up another pair of a very similar style to the Jalads, and that's the Wilfred SE pants. So I picked these up in the color I believe it's Comet. It's like this navy blue kind of color and these I just love. They have the pleating in the front that's really flattering. They are high-waisted and then they go kind of go down a little bit straight and just sort of kind of hang loose off the body, but they're not wide leg at all. I will show you in a cutaway what they look like, but they just look so flattering on. They look really nice with like a sweater tucked in with a t-shirt. Again, these would dress up or down so easily. These are a really versatile pant. They look good on everybody. These, um, I did go true to size, so I did pick these up in a size two and they fit just perfectly. I really like this navy kind of color. It's like, it's kind of like a starlight type of navy. It's it's not too dark, it's not too black, it's not too gray. It's like a really just nice sort of slaty kind of blue that I've never really seen before at Aritzia and I think this would look really nice paired with like a gray sweater or a white t-shirt. It would just go with a lot. Again, I didn't need like another pair of black pants so you know the next closest thing to black for me is blue so I really like this color. I think it's really unique and I'm gonna be wearing these pants a lot. I got two more bottom two, 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 two more bottoms that I picked up from Aritzia and one is a pair of sweatpants. These are from the group by Babaton. Um, I love everything from the group. It's like a really sort of athleisure, kind of comfy, cozy line. Like everything is very athletic, athleisure inspired, but just that little bit elevated, that little bit streetwear that just makes it kind of really cool and not like you're just hanging out in your sweats all the time. So I picked up the group Becca pants. These are just like a stretchy waistband, stretchy ankle type of jogger. Last year I was really, like I really loved that like athleisure look and in particular gray joggers were really popular and I don't have any gray joggers and these were on sale so I decided to pick them up but I'll show you in a cutaway. I don't really know if I love them that much. Gray in terms of pants is not so much my color so I don't know how much use I would actually get out of these. They are super comfy, super thick, and really durable. I just don't know how flattering they are on me. These do go pretty high-waisted, and they do fit a little bit slim and tapered down in the leg. But I'll show you I'll show you what they look like on. I just don't know if they're the most flattering and meant for me. So let me know. Should I keep these guys? Let me know in the comments. So the last thing I picked up from Aritzia are a pair of jeans, and this year, this past September, they just launched a new denim line, which is actually quite, like everything is really, really nice and quite affordable when you think of jeans that Aritzia carries. Like normally they carry things like A Gold and Citizens of Humanity, and all of those jeans are always like in the 200, 250 plus price range and they're beautiful jeans and I would say honestly totally worth it but not always accessible for everybody so I really like that they launched this new denim line called the Denim Forum. I am really into high-waisted straight leg jeans so I decided to pick up the Denim Forum Arlo High Rise Straights. So these are a really really nice pair of jeans. They are very reminiscent of the Levi's wedgie jeans that I wear all the time and that I love so much. So they have a really high waist, they have a five button fly, legit pockets, which is a big deal, and they are just a straight cut with like a frayed hem. So basically a full-on dupe for the Levi's wedgie straight jeans. The denim on these I find is quite a bit 
softer and a little bit thinner than the Levi's though. I would say the Levi's are a lot more thick and durable and take a lot of work to break in. The Arlo's I picked up in a size 25 and when I first picked them up they fit perfectly. They fit so nice. I would, didn't have to suck anything in. Uh, I didn't get any like inner tube rolls over the belt of my jeans or anything like that but as I wore these like even within the day they started to get quite a bit looser so I would suggest to size down at least one size in these jeans if you want them to fit perfectly throughout. So if you size down they're probably going to be a bit tight but they will stretch out quite a bit so I might actually have to even get these taken in or just kind of throw them in the dryer and shrink them up every time I want to wear them. But they are really nice, really casual, and just like a really good everyday jean. And they are at a really good price point too. So if you are interested in picking up a new pair of denim for the season, I would recommend the Denim Forum. They have a lot of really cool like retro inspired jeans too. Aritzia really tried to take inspiration from a lot of fashion icons like Cher, Bridget Bardot, Yoko Ono, that type of thing. And a lot of these jeans are named after these style icons. And a lot of these jeans I would say are kind of 70s inspired, so very high-waisted. Some of them have flares, that straight kind of cut, really butt-hugging, nice, good jeans. So definitely check out the Denim Forum if you're interested in a new pair of jeans for the season. Okay, so that was everything for Aritzia. Now I'm going to get into the Zara portion of the haul. And I didn't really get too, too many things at Zara, although I have been eyeing the Zara fall collection for quite some time, but I haven't really taken the plunge in terms of doing a full-on haul. So let me know if you guys want to see that. But I will show you what I did pick up over the past couple couple of months from Zara. So some of these things you have seen already in some of my videos, but I'm just going to go over them here. One of the things I really love about Zara is they have actually really good, really long lasting basics. So I decided to pick up another basic white crew neck t-shirt, but I actually picked this up from the men's line. So this is a small slim fit crew neck t-shirt. Lately when I've been looking for a crew neck t-shirt, I again really like that sort of oversized fit. So I decided to start trying the men's section because I think the fit is a little bit more flattering, a little bit more oversized, um, but this I did grab in the slim fit. The t-shirts at Zara are always at a really good price point and they can go through hell with you so you don't have to be so nice to them and they hold up so I just decided to pick up another white tee but this time from the men's section. Do you guys shop at the men's section whenever you're looking for your basics? Let me know because I'm kind of new to shopping in the men's section but I'm still trying to figure out the sizes and how to perfect that so let me know how you guys style things from the men's section. Okay, the next thing I picked up from Zara, I have been wearing nonstop, and you have seen in probably almost every single one of my videos since I have bought it, and it is this faux leather moto jacket that I picked up from Zara. Super soft, super affordable, and I have just been out and about anywhere I've gone in this jacket. Everyone's just been like, cool jacket, nice jacket. I've just gotten so many compliments on this jacket. And for me, I love a good moto jacket. I had my old one that I used to wear all the time was from H&M and I had it for like literally 10 years, but it started to just flake off and fall apart and there were holes in the elbows and it was just getting pretty ratchet. So I decided to pick up a new one for this fall. I think this was like, it was definitely under $100 um, and I will link it down below. And it's just really, really soft. It has real pockets which is really important to me it's big enough to fit your phone in there this jacket is just really really flattering and a moto jacket is just such an essential for me that i couldn't go without it but i didn't want to splurge on a real leather jacket so this faux one is still really soft it looks real it doesn't look cheap it's really thick and it's really well made so i think this will last me for quite a while and i've been definitely wearing it to death and i did pick this up in a size extra small in case you were interested so this does fit pretty perfectly on me but i could still layer things like chunky knits and like big fat blazers and that type of thing underneath this it fits really really well and i would say go true to your size if you're interested in this jacket so last year anina bing who i am obsessed with and you guys have seen I do own a few of her pieces. She has this iconic blazer called the Madeline blazer that just looks amazing on everybody. But she always comes out with like different iterations of it every year. And last year she came out with a 
herringbone pattern and I have been looking for a herringbone blazer ever since. This one from Zara was the next best dupe for me and it was this herringbone pattern blazer that I picked up kind of on a whim because this blazer is normally 129 Canadian but I was searching for my size and I did pick this up in a size small and this was actually mislabeled in the store so it was mislabeled for $49 and they had to give it to me for that price so I kind of had to buy it so I guess that's like a Zara hack for you guys if it's not labeled properly they kind of have to own up to it and give it to you for that price. I didn't switch any labels, nothing like that. I literally just grabbed my size. I was like, oh great, this is a $49 blazer. And I got it for $49, even though it's $129 normally. So sorry about that. But it's this really nice like structured blazer that has this gathering at the sleeves, but it's got this really nice sort of herringbone pattern, if you can see that. I've just been looking for this type of pattern ever since I saw that Anina Bing blazer and this one is a really nice dupe. It doesn't have any buttons or anything like that in the front, it just sits open on the body. And they have this blazer in a lot of other colors like black, I think I saw it in red and in white. This blazer is really really nice, it's really high quality, it's lined on the inside so it doesn't feel cheap. I, I really love a plaid blazer, I love a black blazer, but I wanted to try to find another sort of textured fabric and material, sort of change it up in the mix. So this herringbone one is super gorgeous and I've been wearing it a lot since I got it. So the last thing I picked up from Zara are these sort of army green high-waisted pleated trousers. These are really, really soft, but they are kind of on the thinner side in terms of material, but they do sort of check all of my boxes in terms of what I'm looking for in like a dressier trouser. So they are high-waisted. They have a zipper fly with a button, but they are pleated in the front. These need a good press. And they have like, they are straight in the leg and then they sort of have like a cuffed taper at the bottom. I've been seeing a lot of this, these sort of earthy tones for the fall season. So a lot of like khaki and caramel and mustard and these sort of army green kind of tones. And I didn't have anything this color in my wardrobe. And these pants looked actually really nice on and they were pretty affordable too. So I just decided to pick them up for the fall. And I did get these in a size extra small, which I think fit pretty true to size. I usually am not very good at Zara sizing, but extra small does fit true to size. So the first thing I picked up was this vintage Harley Davidson t-shirt. This is, I think it's a men's large and it is like the perfect vintage t-shirt. It is like, I think this used to be white, but now it's like that creamy off-white because it's been, you know, exposed to the sun so much. It has this perfect amount of fade. The t-shirt feels really, really soft and worn in, but it's still in really good shape and really high quality. It says, live hard, ride hard. Just this really cool Harley tee that I am definitely going to be tucking into jeans, into trousers, into skirts. I love a good graphic tee. I think they look so cool under blazers or with like a leather jacket or anything like that. So this was a really cool find and it was only like 15 bucks or something like that. So definitely we'll be going back to this place. Um, I forget what it was called, but I'll try to find it and link it down below for you guys if you are located in Toronto. Gotta love a good graphic tee. Uh, even Anina Bing has one very similar with her name on it and like a tiger, but this is very reminiscent of that. And her t-shirt in Canadian is like $130. And I got a very similar dupe for 15 bucks, so can't go wrong. Okay, this next piece is, in my opinion, so damn cool. It reminds me of my mom, and I just had to pick it up when I saw it and tried it on, and it is this fringe leather jacket that I thrifted. It smells like a vintage shop, and it's got these really cool like purpley flower sort of detailing on it. The fringe is really cool. It does fit really oversized on me, but in terms of other fringe jackets that I have found, this one fits. It's oversized, but it still fits me really, really well, which is why I decided to pick it up. I actually put my hand on this coat a few times and then sort of walked away from it. I was like, oh, I don't really like the purple. And then when I just 
tried it on, I was like, hell yeah, I need that. This jacket is super retro, super edgy, really cool, and I have just been searching for some fringe for the longest time. I think it's super 70s inspired and just really, really cool. So can't wait to style this one for Instagram and just through the fall season because, I don't know, it's just so cool. So the last piece is a blazer and I thrifted this from Value Village quite some time ago actually but I was looking for like a men's sort of tweed oversized blazer with fall styling and fall fashion in mind. I got this for eight bucks. It is a very sort of itchy wool tweed mix. It's got shoulder pads. It was a little bit itchy but I really like the way this blazer fits so I think I'll be wearing it with like turtlenecks or like high neck tees and maybe scarves and stuff like that for the fall. So if you're looking for an oversized blazer, I think the men's section in any thrift store is a really good place to try to find something. The fit will kind of be a little bit off, especially if you're petite, but you can get things tailored or you can sort of cinch things in with like belts or you can just get really creative with how you style things. But for me, I actually really like that sort of oversized kind of swimming in your, swimming in your dad's jacket type of look. So I'm really excited to style this. It's finally cool enough outside that I actually can, so I will definitely be rocking this a whole bunch for the fall. So that's it for my fall haul today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you have been really excited to pick up and start rocking for the fall and winter season. Is it a blazer? Is it a leather jacket? Like, what's your favorite piece that you've picked up that you just cannot wait to wear or that you've been wearing non-stop for the season? Mine will definitely be that leather jacket and a bunch of the blazers that I've picked up because you just can't get enough of a, of a good blazer, you know what I'm saying? Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to follow me on Instagram. That's where I post all of my daily outfits and where I chat with you guys the most. So definitely check me out on there. And I'm gonna be trying to post a video once a week. So let me know if there's anything you wanna see from me. You can leave a comment down below. Thank you guys again so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.